I'd like to share two stories this morning. First, uh, the story of my wife. Uh, second, the story of my neighbor. First, uh, we joined Copa of uh, Rewe International sometime in June 6, 2021. Although, uh, although Rewe was introduced to me uh, sometime in 2019, but I did not join it because I have to form a further studies about the company as well as the so-called stem cell. But sometime uh, March uh, 2021, we, uh, my family, my daughter and my wife uh, were tested positive with COVID and were hospitalized for two weeks. And lo and behold, we're grateful to God because we're able to overcome this COVID-19 virus at that time. So, in June 2021, June 2021, we decided to take Portier, and uh, I asked my upline uh, to give me Portier in order to, uh, uh, so that I could share it to my wife. My wife was hospitalized sometime in 2016 and 2017, twice uh, due to uh, diabetes. We did not know that it was diabetes because one just one morning, early morning, uh, she could no longer stand uh, stand up. Uh, her, I talk, it, took, it took me about an hour to allow her to stand up and brought her to the restrooms. And uh, lo and behold, we uh, immediately we brought her to the hospital and consulted the doctor, but uh, the doctor advised that she has to be hospitalized. And to make the story short, uh, it was found out that she was suffering, uh, she has a diabetes, diabetes mellitus type two. So she was hospitalized for more than a week. And of course, she has to come back. I have to take care of here. In fact, during her, her put it, hospitalization and while staying in the house, I was done, I was the one who took care of here. But it did not stop here, there. Because of this diabetes, she experienced what we call neuropathy. We did not fully understand what neuropathy was at the very start, but uh, we have to consult another doctor and her uh, in doctrinology what neuropathy is and we're told that neuropathy was an uh, after effect of this diabetes. Uh, what is neuropathy? How did he experience neuropathy? Uh, she, has, uh, she, was, she experienced pain all over her body. She could hardly uh, move her body sideways. If she moves to the right or she moves to the left, uh, it was very painful. Uh, the pain was from your body, to the thighs, to the knees, to the legs, and to the soul, uh, which she could hardly uh, rise up or stand up. Uh, and at the same time, her eyes was affected because of that uh, diabetes. Uh, so, uh, we found out in that hospitalization that at that time that she could not, she could not stand up, she was suffering from what we call uh, hypoglycemia at that time. But to make the story short, we go, go forward, fast forward. Uh, in 2021, uh, after we experienced the COVID virus and after we were hospitalized, I thought we bought one set of Porter Placenta. Uh, the main purpose is for her to take uh, the Portier Placenta. Uh, and I would consider this that Portier Placenta is a gift from God because when Soto, as I talk, the Portier Placenta gradually, gradually her health has improved uh, and um, gradually uh, because during while she was uh, recovering, I have to assess everything. Uh, I, have, I have to assess here 
in all the, her personal needs. She could not do household chores. I have to do it. In fact, I became what we call uh, the caregiver for her at that time. So that's it. Uh, but after taking quarter placenta, gradually her health has, she was able to recover. She was able to more or less move her body sideways. And after few months, I think after six months or, uh, or so, uh, she could not she could now uh, she could now stand up on her own, and in fact, uh, she has been do, been doing our household chores already. Because my wife is work is not working for any work, but she is a full time housewife. So the, the, she does all the household chores uh, in our house. But now I'm very grateful to Porter Placenta because she could not stand uh, she could now stand on her own and because of Porter Placenta. And uh, that is why I joined, we joined uh, uh, Riwi because we know that Porter Placenta is a gift from God because for many years, we have been looking for a product, effective product that more or less that could help people. So this is the case of my wife, I shortened it because I'd like to share another case. I have a case, I have my neighbor, he's my co-worker in our parish. She was a salmes uh, during mass. And uh, sometime in April, 2022, uh, she was hospitalized. And it was found out that she was, that uh, she was, her, her stomach was always aching. And it was found out that he, she has she had a stomach cancer. Uh, to make this story short, uh, it was found out that after two weeks, after uh, for almost after almost two weeks of hospitalization, uh, she told her children that more or less she will uh, um, she has uh, she she felt tired already, and she told her children that she's ready to go. In fact, she told her children that when she gets out of the hospital, she wants to go, not in the hospital, but which most people uh, has experienced that way, that most people does not want to, does not want to die in the hospital, is hospital, but in their residence. So she, wants to, she wanted to go home uh, to their house. Uh, in fact, she give instruction, or she go already give instruction to their, to her children and to their, to her helper, to prepare the house, to clean the house. Uh, she instruct, give already give instruction to her children what to wear, where to, uh, where to hold the wig, uh, and they were uh, discussing that it should be done in her house. The wig should be done in her house. And part of, uh, part of that, uh, this week will be in the chapel because they had a chapel in our, near our compound. So that's what, that is, that's it. So after she go, went home to the, to her house, uh, the children called me up because their mother wanted to see me because she needs a prayer. She needs to be prayed over. Uh, in fact, I did not immediately went to their house because after uh, after she arrived from the hospital, because I uh, I was very careful that she, they might be what we call uh, 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 effect of the COVID nineteen because she was uh, it came from the hospital. But the following day after her arrival, uh, I went to her house to do the pray over, to do the pray over. So uh, in that pray over, I, we asked the will of God. In the pray over, I, uh, I asked for the, what we call uh, uh, the intercession of our blessed mother at the same time, asking God uh, to heal her. But at the same time, I, I asked God uh, whatever the, uh, his will 
uh, we will follow it because we do not know we are praying for healing, but we do not know the, the will of God. That is the way I prayed over here. I entrust, and I entrust, in that pray over, I entrusted here uh, to our Lord, uh, to, to our God. Uh, and she was ready. Uh, and she was, uh, uh, the way I look at it at that time, and medio, uh, there is a chance that she might go already at that time. We we're just waiting for that, for the time for her to go because she has prepared herself. Their children has already prepared. In fact, uh, they clean up already the house. They clean up the, they clean up the chapel, and they already prepared a niche for her, uh, near the niche of her husband. Uh, so everything was prepared. But on the other hand, uh, I give them one battle of for their placenta. I told the children, try to uh, what we call, uh, allow their mother to take the for their placenta. But the problem is she could not take the for their placenta through her mouth because she the, porter, the the capsule could not go through her stomach because of the stomach uh, of the stomach the, uh, the diagnosis was a stomach cancer. So what I shared is uh, since she was receiving food through the tube, uh, so what happened? I instructed the children to cut the capsule and then let the liquid go through, run through, run through the, what they call this, the tube, so that uh, it will go through her in this, uh, her, 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 her stomach. In fact, uh, when I suggested to take the porter placenta, her daughter, her nurse daughter uh, objected to that. But the other children uh, persisted that, and I told them, uh, there is nothing impossible. Uh, if uh, the will of God, it, we 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 already uh, surrendered everything to God. But let us say whether the porter placenta will be used by God to uh, more or less uh, as an instrument uh, to heal your mother. So they heeded to my uh, instruction. Uh, my suggestions and they cut the porter placenta and let the liquid uh, go run through the tube one day. The second day, uh, they, got, uh, they give another one and the third day, they made it two already. Uh, and to make this story short, after one week, uh, her mother's uh, health was, has improved a lot. Now, uh, at that time she was 79 when she was hospitalized last June, last month, she was able to, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, celebrate her birthday, 80th, 80th birthday, 80 years old. Uh, and she's now, she can now, uh, what we call, uh, she's now sitting down through her wheelchair, although uh, at this time, she could not yet stand up. Uh, and as a result of this, the family got two sets of porter placenta because it was not only the mother who took the porter placenta, but the children as well. Her second son, her son, her son was also taking the porter placenta because he is a diabetic. And according to them, and I saw it that uh, he, uh, their health has improved, the diabetes has improved, she could now talk or walk uh, more, more or less uh, faster than before we are taking the porter placenta. So with that, uh, just to tell you that I, as a matter of, uh, because they are my neighbors, they are my friends, I, 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 give, them only, I give them one bottle. I did, not, uh, I did not ask them the payment but that is just my, what we call uh, a gift for them uh, 
uh, as far as uh, uh, I'm concerned, the family is concerned. So they were grateful to me because, and I am grateful to them also because they have heeded to my suggestion, you try Porter Placenta, there's nothing impossible. Uh, so as of now, everything is okay and we're waiting that the time that their neighbor of my, mine will be able to stand up on her own. But more or less, she's well already, she can talk, uh, she's happy uh, because she can uh, uh, go on. Of course, uh, she still needs help, uh, but uh, she can now, in fact, uh, sometime during her birthday, they went to a beach together with her and her children and her grand grandchildren in order to celebrate her birthday. So these are the two cases. That is the case of my wife, that through 40 years, she was able to move her body uh, due to neuro neuropathy uh, and her her placenta has helped her a lot. And this and second case is uh, because of that neighbor of mine who experienced that stomach cancer. Uh, to tell you for the world and everyone, I am still continue to help people. Uh, when I, 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 I know somebody who is uh, suffering from any health concern, then I offer my help. I, I will not uh, more, uh, I will give them for their placenta in the meantime, if they feel that the, their health has improved, then that's the time that if they will ask me, they will uh, purchase, that's okay. Um, that I would be happy for that. But my intention is in the meantime, I want to help her because I joined Rui because of two main considerations. First, because of the efficacy of the product, because for, for me, for the stem cell for Porter placenta is a gift from God. And as a gift from God, as a we, Rewe member distributor of Rewe, we are a blessing to others. And that's the main reason that I'm, I'm uh, what they call it, I'm very active in promoting Porter Placenta because my main, my main purpose is to help others in their health concern. Thank you uh, and good morning.